Hello, this is Jason from Cisco VPN TAC with a quick video on license registration for the ASAV. I'm going to start off here with a newly provisioned ASAV. Just checking out the version and license information, we can see that we have just the standard two premium peers that are by default and 3 des encryption is enabled. First thing we'll do is go in and set up the licensing parameters to just be a standard license with the throughput level change from the default of 100 megabytes to 2 gigabytes. I should note here as well that the DNS wasn't set up at this point and so as such later in the video the registration is going to fail because we can't resolve to tools.cisco.com so there's a little bit of a learning troubleshooting at the end of this so in the smart licensing portal we'll go ahead and verify that you are indeed in the right account and click on inventory and then general from there you'll be able to create a new token with a description how long the tokens valid for between 1 and 365 days and then make sure that at the bottom you have allow export control functionality on the products registered with this token. Without that you won't be able to configure any crypto at all. You click on the little blue check at the bottom of the screen and it's going to show you the newest token you just generated. We'll go ahead and copy that because we'll use that in the next step to actually register the ASAV. To check the licenses that you're using currently, you can just search for any connect in this case, and we'll see that we have 9,700 user license purchased. We see 47 in use. That is actually the number of devices that have been registered with this token, and 9,653 devices can still be registered. This is not the users that are currently connected this is the number of boxes that this token has been applied for. So now that we're back on the ASAV, then we'll go ahead and create the license smart registration by adding in the ID token that we just copied. And then you'll see here, once I do a show license all, that the registration actually failed because of the DNS not being set up previously. So it's still the same. So we can do show license all and we'll see that it's still trying to register. I had turned on some debugs to see what was happening. And so the next registration attempt is in a few more minutes. So I pause the video and move forward in time after turning on the debugs. So I ended up getting it working and I found the document for troubleshooting the registration on the ASAV and I'll link that at the end of this video here. Uh, essentially you have to configure DNS and you can run this call home test profile license and in my case, I got failed to connect with the error number 35. And that was because the certificates only update at 10 o'clock every night as long as the ASAV is running. And since this was a new deployment, it hadn't updated any of the certificates. So there's a command in there that will allow you to import the new certificates and you'll see that I got 13 new certificates. Once I did the test profile again, it was successful. So then there is a command that you can reauthorize the smart license renewal. So I did smart license renewal authenticate. And once I did that, then the license was valid. All that is in this document here. So you can see the import command for the certificates. 
can see that you get the certificates installed and then the license smart renewal authorization is to manually just reset that with the new certificates. Once that was done, all the certificates were updated and the registration was successful. Now we're ready to move on to the configuration. Thanks for taking time to watch this video and stay tuned for more videos for registration coming in the future.